Member for, uh, sorry, Leader of Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Today, the BC Supreme Court is hearing Forest Company Teal Jones's application for an injunction against the protesters at Ferry Creek. If the injunction is granted, we could see people arrested for attempting to stop preparations for logging in the last intact ancient forest valley on southern Vancouver Island. This could take place, no less, in the Premier's own riding, on the watch of an NDP government that has promised to do things differently on old growth, on the watch of a Premier who committed during the recent SNAP election to implement all of the old growth panel's recommendations, including immediate deferrals in ancient forests just like this one. Honourable Speaker, if Ferry Creek doesn't qualify for immediate protections, I'm not sure what does. My question is to every member of government, really, but I'll direct my question to the Premier. Is the Premier and his caucus okay with this being their legacy? Or will they step up and come to the table with real economic alternatives to logging old growth and provide a way forward to save Ferry Creek? Minister of Forest, Land, Natural Resource Office. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question uh, from the uh, third member of the third party, leader of the third party. Um, BC forests are a big part of what makes our province so unique and, and, and so special, and our government knows that old growth trees are an integral part of a healthy ecosystem. And for many, many years, the former Liberal government, they took an unbalanced and, and unsustainable approach to managing our old growth forests, and we are making different choices. Our government is bringing in a fundamental shift in forestry to protect and preserve old growth forests, and, and for, for today and, and for years to come. And we will do this while supporting forest workers and forest-dependent communities. You know, we received clear advice and clear recommendations from the independent panel on how we can do this. And we are dedicated to implementing the 14 recommendations and the work has already started. In fact, as a first step, we worked with Indigenous nations and government to government discussions across the province to look at nine deferred areas where we deferred old growth forests that are protected in those nine areas. And we will continue to do more. We know that this is just a first step and there is much more to do and we will do that. Leader of third party on supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I'm, I'm actually astonished that uh, my question was specifically about Ferry Creek. Uh, the Minister of Forest didn't mention it once. And just to be clear, <laughs> This is the last intact old growth valley south of Clackwit Sound on Vancouver Island, the last one. And so 30 years from now, we will have to look at our grandchildren and say, hey, either we let it go because it didn't matter, we didn't value it, your future, your ability to go into an intact old growth forest didn't matter enough or we say this is the moment to make the decision this is the time this is the government that promised to do it and they're going to follow through on it making different choices <laughs> following the advice of the panel the advice of the panel was immediate deferrals on exactly this kind of watershed and ancient forest this government has an opportunity in front of them right now to show that they actually meant what they said when they made promises in a snap election that we didn't need to have. The question is to the Premier, Honourable Speaker, will his government rise to the moment of this important decision? Halt the road building and preparation for logging in this intact rainforest and come to the table with financial alternatives for supports in order to provide an actual long-term solution to save this watershed. Minister of Forests. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, I too have a vision. I have a vision about our forest industry. I have a vision about the forests in this province. And I want to ensure that we have a sustained, well-managed forest industry. And I also... I also have a vision, and the member should, maybe the member would like to listen to it. So my vision is, I also have grandchildren. And I want, if my grandchildren choose, they are from the age of 4 to 20. If my grandchildren choose, I want them, when they are ready, I want them to have the ability to work in a well-managed forestry. But I also want them to have the ability to be able to walk in an old growth forest anywhere in this province because there is old growth forest 10,000 uh, 10, uh, hectares of old growth forests across this province which tend, you know, have, have not been logged and are protected and will not be logged. And the, and the member is inaccurate in her numbers. She likes to put out numbers. I don't know. I would love to meet with her to talk to her and, and have a briefing on where she's getting her numbers from because they are inaccurate. We are dedicated to implementing the recommendations from the old growth forest report and we will do that. We are also dedicated to working in government to government discussions with indigenous nations and we are doing just that with the we are doing just that with the the Pachadat nation we are doing that with other nations across this province and those are government to government discussions that Thank are you. confidential and would be inappropriate for me to discuss in a public Thank you, venue. Minister. but we are committed we are committed to continuing through this important work, having those discussions with Indigenous nations, talking to the workers, talking to industry, talking to communities Thank who you. are dependent. And we will continue to do that. Thank you, Minister. We are, want to ensure that there's old growth forest in this, in, this forest, in this province for years to come.